was definitely not meant to be a professional bartender. Being a bar owner, this feels right. I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. Let me tell you, Tom Schwartz didn't have a lot of expertise when it came to the bar or, you know, experience. I mean, you saw him behind the bar, he lasted about a minute and a half, <laughs> you know. But he's got this likability factor. I just think he's such a good, lovely, funny, kind person. Mm -hmm. And I love seeing him. When he walks into Tom Tom, he's got this sense of, this is something tangible. Yeah. When he gets ready to go in, he's like, do I look cool enough? Oh, like, he gets ready, like, so dressed. Cute. No, no, no sandals, no jeans, no joggers, no nothing. Like, he looks, like, real dapper when he goes I mean, in there. He's, so cute. He's so, such a pride. Tom, for some, you know, he was pursuing the acting and modeling, but he always, like, kind of didn't have that confidence. He always felt like that every other guy in the room was more attractive and more deserving than he was. <gasps> I know, right? <laughs> and then, you know, and then he was just trying to really find his place. Like, you know, do I do real estate? Do I get go back to bartending? And no. nothing was quite sticking. <laughs> no. Like, he didn't, there's so much he could do. It's just, he just, you know, it's, it's kind of adorable. It is charming that he is, you know, so humble. Self-deprecating as but, well. Self-deprecating, but it's to a point where you're just like, do you believe in yourself? You yeah. are fully capable. I want you to understand and recognize your own potential. I saw that in. as well, and that's yeah. why I wanted to push him. It was really, for me, it was very sexy to see him recognize his potential. Oh, so that's why you're shagging him, because his name's <laughs> up in lights. No, 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 Whatever no. gets you guys me. You know what, that is sexy. Motivation is sexy. welcome. <laughs> <laughs>at the opening, and I thought, motorcycle sidecar. It just is like so perfect. He mentioned this to me very briefly, long time ago. Never mentioned it again. I had given up all hope. It took major manifesting. Like, I, I, I know I could go on about all the things that had to happen for, for the motorcycle sidecar to happen, but it was so much work. One of the biggest pain in the asses I've ever dealt with. Even just finding one, like a lot of times you'll find like a really nice sidecar that only fits like a certain motorcycle. And I found one in Miami, flew a friend out there, put him in a hotel. He went to go get, it was like 28 miles from his hotel. It wouldn't even start, it was spraying oil everywhere. He had to put it up on a tow truck and have it sent to this. There was only one place that would deliver it in time for it to make it to LA for the opening. But not only that, we had to gut it, we had to pull it apart, that had to get, like, had to be completely painted, then reassembled while still wet. Literally, we're, <laughs> it's like three o'clock, I'm supposed to be showing up at Schwartz's. At 3.15, me, the mechanic, and like a barista from next door, all just trying to get this fucking sidecar reattached, like attached back on the bike. How did you get the barista involved? Dude, we needed somebody. We we're just like, hey man, hey, when you get done like dropping those coffees off, can you come help? Like, oh, we were desperate. I was like, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm like sweating. The funny thing is, is like I'm getting on this bike and I've never driven this thing in my life. And I have to go like drive it and pick him up. Pulling up in just such a cool part of town in a city we love so much and are so proud to be business owners in. And just, we we love West Hollywood and like, you know, Lisa's out there. All of our good close friends are there. Mom, my mom and dad were there. Yeah, it just was something super special. It's like up there with my like wedding. I mean, nothing will ever top that for me. That was, you know, one of the most special moments of my life. Maybe the most, but like, it's up there. I guess the best way I can describe it is like, when you, you know, if you were winning NASCAR, pulling into the winner's circle, 
it was just, it was the ultimate you. entrance I've ever done. I've done a lot of good entrances. I've done a lot of like amazing <laughs> Halloween costumes. <laughs> yeah, like, he loves whatever. a good entrance. But dude, that, that entrance topped it all. <laughs> How much of Tom Tom is you, Lisa Vanderpump, and how much of it is the Toms? Well, when it comes to design and creativity, I'm you know have complete control with Nicolaine and and Ken, and we're all on the same page. But for their energy to come in with their great drinks, and for them to be tasting the food, and they wanted their tacos, and they wanted this, and I listened to all of that because they're out at a lot of competitive bars seeing what's going on and I wanted to hear it. And also I wanted it to be a place that they walked in and go, oh my God. And hopefully they trusted me and Nicolaine and Ken to give them something that they were part of that they would really be proud of. And I think we did oh, yeah. that. Oh, they love it. Oh, yes. It's gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous. That moment of first walking into your very first bar business, it, it's, a, it's a feeling that you know, I, I, it's hard to describe, it's just. It's like losing your professional virginity. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. Or retiring our young, our youth. I'm hanging on to that for dear life. My only regret is that I'll never be able to experience this moment again. <laughs> the final touch of them kissing. I thought, I need a picture of both of them. Yeah. What can I do? What can be funny? And then I remembered them and I thought, God, there's got to be a still of that somewhere, you know? <laughs> and I remember putting it in the back of my car, this giant picture, and take it back there. And I thought, they are going to poo themselves when they see this. <laughs> but that's also embodied the feeling of the bar, their relationship, that two heterosexual men ish. <laughs> could be that close, that friendly, and it sends the message, you know, also it's in West Hollywood, that everybody should be comfortable with each other, mm -hmm. and, you know, it embodies what Tom Tom's all about. It's one of the greatest romance of the decade. <laughs> <laughs> When I first started working for Lisa, I was always trying to show her my creativity behind the bar. Now, here I am as her business partner with a menu full of cocktails that I created with my best friend. I just would have never thought this moment would ever happen. Schwartz lives down the hall from me, so I, they were working on drinks for like weeks, you know, in the, in the oh, middle of the day, months. like a Tuesday afternoon, I'd be up, I'd clean my apartment, I'd wander down there, and go have a taste of cocktail. I would be cleaning the house or something, and Schwartz would come knock on the door with a cocktail for try me this, to try. Try this, try this. <laughs> he would come down to my house for me to try a cocktail. Yeah. yeah. He was working that hard yeah, every single day. Yeah, I know day. they loved it. And they were spending lots of money out of their own pocket to make these drinks. Thousands you know, of dollars. Thousands, and I'm not saying hundreds, I mean thousands of dollars. There was hundreds Stuff. of bottles of the Everywhere. most random ingredients I've ever seen in my life, like <laughs> Indian seeds, like uh, like curry, and like just, just the most random ingredients that you find at more of like a, a market, a spice market. Yeah. You know, it just had everything. Yeah. Egg, egg whites and egg yolks and, and foam and, and ice made So much of aquafaba. And, <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us what aquafaba is? Yeah, it's just an egg white alternative for vegan people and it still gives a great silky texture, a little more body. And uh, yeah, it's killer, it's killer. You get it from the can of like chickpeas or something. I don't it's know like what some it kind is. of like Yes, so we <laughs> end up juice. with a lot of chickpeas. Hibiscus. <laughs> but then we make the hummus Random. out of the chickpeas now. You see, it's all about cross, see, you know. We're source fault. Like, maybe we got a little too carried away, to be honest, without concerns of practicality. I got a smoke gun to like smoke drinks. I got a diamond ice cube press. Yeah. Obviously, I have that shop freezing machine. Like, it was supposed to be built into the shop bar at TomTom, Tom, and somehow it got. Yeah, like it just, well, yeah. When we're involved in a project, it's great that they can say, well, this is the drink that, you know, I love. But, you know, sometimes they had to understand that things had to be economical and easy to make and had to be, you know, viable. All these are things that would set Tom Tom apart from any other bar in West Hollywood. He made sure, like, they're not going to be spending money on this equipment. Like, he did deals with these people to get this, these things, thinking, what would Lisa love? A diamond-shaped ice cube. And, and then Lisa, everyone did, Lisa so did love the frozen shots. And then every, we had them yeah, last love year. The frozen, and then I'm like, so what's yeah. going on here? Like, what exactly? Just like is this like a power thing? Because like, yeah. it kind of seems like it is. Whose power thing is it? 
Well, it's Lisa's. Well, and Pandora. And Pandora. Well, it's and not Pandora. called Tom Tom Rolls, and it's not called Stassi Rolls. <laughs> there is this dynamic that will always kind of be there mm -hmm. because Lisa started off. I mean, we. She's yeah. always been our boss. Yeah. And so I think. But I that think she likes it to remain that way, regardless of how hard any one of us has worked <coughs> to elevate ourselves in our lives. It doesn't matter to her. She wants to always make sure that we're under her thumb. Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Wait, what's after that part? Finish the episode, subscribe, watch more. Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Click here to. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch more videos of Vanderpump Rules.